Russian bombers air base angles under attack, two planes burning. Moscow, dollar one equals 62.00 Russian rubles. In Russia, it was reported that an unknown drone attacked an airport in the Saratov region. It is about the airport in Engels, where strategic bombers are based, which launch missile strikes on Ukraine. The video of the alleged explosion was posted by various Russian telegram channels. According to preliminary data, on the morning of December 5, an unknown plane crashed on the runway of the local airport. An explosion was then heard, which was recorded by external CCTV cameras. This happened after 6 o'clock in the morning local time. Two aircraft were reportedly damaged as a result, although it is not known exactly which ones. Two people were also reported injured and taken to a local hospital. At the moment, there is no official information about what happened. December 1st On December 1st new satellite images of the Engels Air Base, which is located 14 kilometers, 8.7 miles, east of Saratov, have emerged. The 295 and 2160 bombers are clearly visible in the satellite images. At least 12 bombers are visible in the photo, as follows, 8 295 bombers and 6 2160 bombers. Additionally, satellite images show the presence of at least 5 cargo planes in the vicinity. Carts for carrying cruise missiles are also seen, suggesting that cargo planes delivered the munitions for the bombers. Engels II is the main air base of Russian strategic bombers. The main home is the 121st Guards Heavy Bomber Aviation Sevastopol Red Banner Regiment, which operates precisely with two 160M bombers, as well as the 184th Heavy Bomber Aviation Regiment, whose pilots serve the 295M bombers. Since the beginning of the war, Russia has used the base several times as a staging post for bombing Ukraine. Military analysts and experts say that parked in this way on the runway, the bombers are loaded with cruise missiles and bombs. Their opinion is also dictated by the fact that the trolleys for carrying cruise missiles were also brought out at a time when cargo planes had already wintered. Most likely, experts say, in the coming hours or a day or two, Ukraine will again be subject to massive Russian missile attacks. 2022 Russian Invasion of Ukraine On 21 February 2022, the Russian government claimed that Ukrainian shelling had destroyed an FSB border facility on the Russia-Ukraine border, and claimed that it had killed five Ukrainian soldiers who tried to cross into Russian territory. Ukraine denied being involved in both incidents and called them a false flag. On the same day, the Russian government formally recognized the self-proclaimed DPR and LPR as independent states, according to Putin not only in their de facto controlled areas, but the Ukrainian oblasts as a whole and Putin ordered Russian troops, including tanks, to enter the regions. On 24 February 2022, Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered an invasion of Ukraine by Russian armed forces previously concentrated along the border. The invasion followed by targeted airstrikes of military buildings in the country, as well as tanks entering via the Belarus border. Russia has so far not recognized the invasion of Ukraine as a war, although that is exactly what it is, claiming that it is a special military operation. According to the UN, in which Russia has its permanent representation, for military action to be defined as a special military operation, it must have a resolution issued by the UN. There is no such resolution, which automatically defines the military actions of the Russians as an invasion and war against the citizens of Ukraine. For more up-to-date news, follow our Google News, YouTube, Reddit, LinkedIn, Twitter and Facebook pages.